what's up guys Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and welcome back to another fun video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about something really exciting these are the new GPUs from the folks over at MSI this is their new premium flagship series the MSI Supreme X and it's not pronounced as Supreme it's pronounced as Supreme but again it's a cool name so I really like it and just talking about the packaging itself there's been you know thought and effort put into it so it shows that this is a new premium series of graphics cards and by looking at the cards itself, once you take your first look, you know that you're talking serious gaming performance and you're talking about an enthusiast grade GPU. So here we have the 3080 and the 3090. There's also a 3070 available in the Supreme X series, so that's that. And again, as I said, these are made for the enthusiast gamers. These are made for the best of the best, people who demand a lot of performance, great cooling, and people who want to push their hardware to its limits by overclocking it and, you know, stress testing, putting it under high loads and wanting to use it for the best tasks. So again, talking about the Supreme X here, as I said, we have the 3080 and 3090. So if you want to know all the technical specifications and stuff, I'll leave them down below. But just going over the basics, you've got 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory on the 3090 and 10 gigs of VRAM on the 3080. And you'll be requiring a 750 watts, you know, minimum power supply to run the 3080 and a 850 watts power supply to run the 3090. And talking about I.O., you've got, again, one HDMI and three display ports. And these are all the latest I.O. So you can, you know, do 8K monitors, no problem. And yes, you can do higher refresh rates as well. So there's no limitations over there. And just talking about the card itself, these are really beefy cards and they're very heavy as well. And they've got weight to it. And there's some changes here. So let's talk about that so starting off from the front itself you've got your again signature MSI look with the three fans and you'll notice that there's changes here so now there's RGB all over here and you can see the GeForce RTX logo right there and going towards the back this is my favorite part you have the supreme branding itself and this is a brushed aluminium backplate really high quality and I really like the build quality of this card it's really premium again once I talk about the pricing later on, you'll understand why. But again, these are really nice cards. And again, the MSI logo right here is also RGB. And the reason I'm, why I'm only showing one card is because they're both the same in terms of the design and the dimensions and stuff like that. So that's why. So basically both the cards are gonna be the same in terms of the looks and aesthetics. And you've got three 8-pin PCI power connectors because these are definitely hungry GPUs. And again, another nice thing about you know MSI and their new design that this part over here takes up all the weight of the card itself. And this thing, if you're wondering what this weird little gadget right here, this is gonna be their new kind of a sag bracket as I would say it. And you could call it more of a you know support bracket or just this 
takes up the weight of the card. Once you, you know, put the card in the PCI slot, you can just set this up and this will take most of the card's weight because these are heavier cards and I wouldn't recommend just popping them in and leaving them on on the motherboard slot because you might end up breaking your expensive motherboard. But apart from that, these are really nice, you know, looking cards in my opinion. And I'm also gonna, you know, show you guys how the RGB looks and stuff. But again, talking about RGB, again, MSI's Mystic Light ecosystem right here, and you can control it with Dragon Center, their software. And not only the, you know, RGB lighting, you can also set up, you know, custom fan curves and stuff like that. Talking about fan curves, talking about cooling, you've got their, you know, Trifrozer 2S design here. So that's gonna be a combination of the Torx 4.0 fan, as well as the core pipe technology. And another really nice thing about this card is gonna be the dual BIOS. So let's say you want your card to be silent. You can do that by just flipping the switch or you want really nice gaming performance. You want to go to the extreme gaming performance mode, just flip a switch and that's right there. No need to go to any softwares, no need to you know fiddle around with stuff like that. Just flip that switch and you can you know choose between either quite you know just no acoustic sound at all or you can go for high performance when you're let's say rendering videos or live streaming or some you know high-end task that requires that power you can do that so that's going to be the dual bios technology and talking about the 3090 especially because the 3090 has memory chips towards the back of the pcb there is going to be a you know heat pipe on the back plate so it's right there but the 3080 does not have any memory on the back so that's not going to be there so that's absent from there and talking about the other cooling improvements you've got thermal pads on basically every chip on this card so that's going to give you some headroom for overclocking and stuff like that when you're doing you know that kind of manual overclocking and pushing this card towards its limits and as i said the tox power point of fan the core pipe technology and that beefy heatsink in my opinion is going to be really nice to push this card and if you looked at videos if you want you know benchmarks and just detailed comparison with the founders edition and the other cards Talking about other cards, the MSI Supreme X series is gonna be targeted directly towards ASUS's Strix OC. And I wouldn't put any other brand or card in this you know, league anymore. I would say this is only gonna compete with the ASUS Strix OC, which happens to be you know, one of the top graphic cards right there in terms of you know, overclocking and high performance. So I think you can take out all the other brands out of the competition, put MSI ASUS right up there when you're going for higher end enthusiast level cards. Um, you know, again, to be honest, ASUS might have you know better performance out of the box, but this card can be pushed a lot towards you know the higher ends of 2150 megahertz in terms of overclocking. And you'll have to play around with it. You'll have to give it sufficient airflow and cooling, but this is gonna be a beast at overclocking. And I'll again, link up some benchmarks and thermal performance down below. And you might even see something from me in the future once I do upgrade my PC. But apart from that, just to get it out there, this is gonna give you really nice cooling as well as really good performance. Talking about the other support that it gets from the MSI ecosystem, that's gonna be the MSI Afterburner software. And that's pretty well known in the industry for not only doing overclocking, but also monitoring your GPU. So you can set up a manual overclock over there. And this has also got the Zero Frozer technology, which happens to be a unique, you know, just gimmicky branding name. But basically what it means is that if there is no load on the card, the fans won't spin and make extra noise. And yes, I really like the RGB and aesthetics on this card. And talking about the competition, I would say, you know, just honestly, this is a better card compared to Asus Strix OC. I've been using a Strix OC personally in my, you know, main build and that doesn't look as good as this one. So if you're a fan of RGB, if you like the bling, this is definitely the way to go. And apart from that, talking about the pricing and conclusion about the MSI Supreme X, the RTX 3080 is gonna be starting at $849, and in India, you can expect it around or above 80,000 rupees, that's including tax. And for the RTX 3090, you're expecting a beefy price of $1,750. Your frames are definitely going to, you know, going to cost you a lot of money. So you're paying for basically every frame you get. And that's going to retail for around 155K or 1,55,000 rupees in India. So that's going to be the pricing. And should you buy it over an ASUS Strix OC? And that's for you to decide. Do you want the beefy you know, performance? Do you want the extra bling that this card gets you? And personally, if you just like the aesthetics, I would say it's worth the money. And it's definitely cheaper compared to the ASUS Strix OC. And you're looking at a price difference of about $100. And that's a lot when you're considering a you know, PC build that's gonna definitely cost you in the upper $3,000 or $4,000. And when it comes to that kind of price money, even $100 is gonna definitely matter. If you're gonna save that money, it's gonna be nice. And who can use the 3090? I would say if you're a gamer, 
I wouldn't recommend the 3090 to you, but let's see you're into you know, higher end live streaming, if you're into 3D workloads, if you're doing machine learning and AI stuff, this is definitely gonna be the card for you. The 3080, if you're into you know, 4K gaming, if you wanna try 8K gaming, or if you're going to do that in a higher refresh rate monitor, you should go with the 3080. But you know, apart from that, those are my just you know honest, blunt opinions on the two cards. I'll leave links down below so you can just learn you know about the cards itself and whatever else you want to know about the technical specifications and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it from my you know side of things. And I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed my opinions. If you have any questions down below, let me know and I'll be there in the comments replying to you guys. Join the Discord server. We have got a small little community being built up there. And if you have any queries, questions about the card itself. And that's pretty much it, guys. My name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.